Hey everybody, it's Paige Evans and I'm excited to announce my next exclusive cut file bundle, 20 days of stitching cut files. I want to show you how to get these cut files from your daily emails to your electronic cutting machines. So every day you will receive an email from me through my constant contact campaign service and there are three different places, even more, where you can download the cut file. So click download here and it will take you to Dropbox. And this is as of October 2021. I feel like every time I log into Dropbox, it's a little different. So there are a few places where you can download the zip folder. You can click on open and extract all. You can click on the three little dots on the right and one of the options is download or on the top left right there, you, you can see it says extract all. I am just going to click on download. So depending on whether you have a PC or a Mac, it's going to download the zip folder and you need to extract it. So for me on a Mac, it downloads onto my desktop and then once it has finished downloading, I simply double click on it and that opens up the zip folder. So then you'll have a folder which contains all of the different files for the different cutting machines. For a Silhouette Cameo, no matter which version, the file you want to use is the .studio3. Simply double click, it will open it, and it is ready to be cut. So you click on send, and you can see it's going to cut out all of these teeny tiny holes for stitching. I like to use cardstock. You can change it to pattern paper, whatever material you are using. I also use a ratchet blade. That's my preferred blade. Click on send after you've loaded the mat into your machine and you can see it takes about 18 minutes for the machine to cut out all of the holes for you and then it is ready for your hand stitching. Now for Cricut, it's a little more complicated and this is one of the pros to using a Cameo. It's just a little bit easier, but I will show you a few different methods for getting these cut files to cut with your Cricut. You want to start a new project and click on upload. Click on upload image and then from those downloaded files, you can double click or drag and drop the, P the PNG one and then click on simple, continue, continue. And then you wanna click on the left option, cut image. Again, this is as October as of October, 2021. Everything changes, but this is how it is right now. Click on that image and add to canvas. The image is less than 11.5 inches, so that's good to go. So I'm gonna click on make it. You can center it on the cardstock or wherever you want the holes to be cut and it is ready to go. So click on continue. You can change and adjust the settings on your Cricut to what you are using. So I think I usually have it at cardstock or poster board. Just change it to the settings that you prefer and that you know and love and use with your Cricut. And it's preparing. It might take a few seconds to load onto the mat because it's just such a large file and then there it's going, it's starting to cut. So that is one option is using the PNG one file. You can also use an SVG file. Some of the holes won't show up just with the PNG. So from the downloaded files, again, you want to upload a file. You can drag and drop the SVG two and this is, a super easy, simple way to get the Cricut to cut. So you've uploaded it, add to canvas. Now, the only problem with this is it's larger than 11 and a half by, what does this say, 23 and a half. So you're going to have to shrink it down to less than 11 and a half inches square, and it is going to cut this outer edge. So if you have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, it's going to cut it down to 11, whatever you have it sized to under 11 and a half inches square, okay? So note that it's going to cut that down slightly from 12 by 12, but all of the holes are there, easy peasy, click continue, and you're on your merry way with having the Cricut cut out all of the holes. So that's a really easy way, and all of the holes will be included. The last way that you can get the Cricut to 
cut the holes is to insert the SVG one. And this way you can cut it larger. Well, you, you I still don't think you can cut larger than an 11, 11 and a half inches square. And using the SVG one, you're going to have to weld all of the layers. So you can see it's got all of these dots down the right hand column, you have to select them all and weld them together. But again, you can see the image is larger than 11 and a half, so I'm sizing it down, but this way it won't cut out that final border around the edges. So that is three different ways to get your Cricut to cut these holes for stitching. A little bit simpler with the Silhouette Cameo for sure, but I do love both machines for different reasons. I hope you are inspired to pick up my 20 days of stitching cut files and hand stitch on your layouts and cards, mini albums, projects. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, this is as of October 2021, so things might be changing and I'll try to create new videos if there are updates. Have a great day!